Do you have a muscle injury that's just not healing as fast as you'd like it? And have you heard of BPC-157? In this video, I'm going to talk about this popular peptide, what it is and its potential role in helping the healing of muscle injuries so you get back to sports and exercise quickly and safely. My name's Dr. David Geyer, double board certified orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and media medical expert. I help you feel and perform your best regardless of age, injury, or medical history. Now, please understand in this video, I am not giving you medical advice. This is meant for general information and educational purposes only. According to a 2013 study in the journal Sports Health, muscle injuries are the most common injury in athletes. They make up about 10%, some people say as high as 55% of all sports and exercise injuries. The vast majority of muscle injuries are contusions or strains of the muscles while lacerations or complete tears of the muscle are much less common. The most severe types of muscle injuries can lead to chronic pain, dysfunction, and recurrent tears. Could peptides help some of these injuries heal, even speed their healing? Well, what are peptides? Peptides are short chains of amino acids, or small proteins, I like to say, that are found naturally in our bodies. You've probably heard of insulin. It's something our body makes naturally to handle the glucose that comes with our foods. We make peptides naturally in our bodies and more than 7,000 naturally occurring peptides have been identified. Peptides are involved in every bodily action. I always tell people these are signaling molecules or communication signals. They're master controllers of functions throughout the body. Each one has a specific role. The peptide binds to a receptor of a particular cell, causes a particular chemical reaction, and then it goes away, it disappears from the body. It has a very short half-life, which is one of the reasons peptides are thought to be very safe. That's, as I've said before, one of the key differences between peptides and hormones like steroids, which stay around in your body a long time, which can be good, but it can be bad too. Now we naturally have high levels of peptides as kids and young adults, but those levels decline as we get older. That's thought to be one of the reasons so many muscle injuries occur as we get older, 40s, 50s, and older, compared to teenagers and young adults. Now, please understand, many of these peptides are still considered experimental. The FDA is looking in to how peptides are used. Now, there are a lot of them that have been approved, about 60 or so, and there's hundreds that are still being tested. A lot of these, more and more, are gonna come out in the coming years from the big pharmaceutical companies as drugs sold at pharmacies and places like that. Now, specifically, let's talk about BPC-157. What is that? It stands for Body Protective Compound. It's a synthetic 15 amino acid peptide that comes from our gastric juice or our stomachs. And it's received a lot of attention as a potential treatment for all kinds of conditions. I've talked about inflammatory bowel syndrome and healing of stomach ulcers, but it's thought to have heart benefits and viral benefits and all sorts of other things. But when it comes to musculoskeletal injuries, like muscle injuries, it's thought to have a role as well. Not just muscle, but tendon, ligament, nerve, bone, tendinopathies like Achilles tendinopathy or tennis elbow. It's thought to potentially enhance the nitric oxide pathway, which is a vasodilator, so you might get better oxygen exchange in the lungs, oxygen delivery to muscles, improving your endurance, and it might be something that helps with pain and damaged tissue, hopefully making narcotics less necessary. But here, let's focus on muscle injuries. Now, muscle injuries tend to occur in one of two ways. The muscle absorbs a sudden, large, direct, compressive force resulting in a contusion, or the muscle is subjected to an excessive tension force resulting in a stretch or even a muscle rupture, usually near the muscle tendon junction. People in sports medicine often talk about rice. You've probably heard of that, rest, ice, compression, and elevation for all kinds of injuries, like muscle injuries. But there's really very little evidence that those help muscles heal, and it might even be detrimental to healing and function after the injury, especially the immobilization part. And steroids, whether oral or injected, and anti-inflammatory medications might actually be counterproductive for healing muscles too. Now, sometimes scar formation occurs after significant muscle injuries, complicating healing even more and complicating return to activity. Now, if you cut the quadriceps muscle just above the patella or the kneecap, it often leads to a per persistent defect and a significant loss of function. One study published in the Journal of Orthopedic Research 
Researchers transected or cut the quadriceps muscles of rats. They found that BPC-157 improved muscle healing, measured in terms of biomechanics, function, microscopic evidence of healing, larger muscle fiber diameters, less muscle atrophy, better macroscopic appearance of the muscle. It decreased scar tissue formation within the injured muscle. So they concluded that BPC might have a therapeutic role for muscle injuries in humans. In another study published in the journal Surgery Today, researchers used BPC-157 as a systemic treatment throughout the body and as a local treatment for a crush injury of a major muscle, the gastroc muscle of the calf. They observed BPC improved muscle healing. The improvements were seen macroscopically with less hematoma and edema in the muscle, no leg contracture after the injury. Microscopically, it was better. Functionally, it was better. And it had better enzyme activity measured in creatine kinase and lactate dehydrogenase and other enzymes. They concluded BPC-157, whether it was given locally or systemically, accelerated muscle recovery and healing. So how does BPC-157 work? And I've discussed this analogy in a video I did on BPC and its role in tendon and ligament injury healing. Look at BPC as it pertains to healing similar to the game pickup sticks. When muscle or tendons or ligaments are injured, the body starts this inflammatory process to repair them. The collagen fibers aren't aligned in a linear or orderly fashion, they're all over the place, like the sticks and pickup sticks when you drop them on the floor. These studies suggest that BPC-157 helps collagen formation in muscles heal in an optimal formation and alignment to quickly strengthen the tissue. Now, as you can see from these studies that I talked about, earlier, they're done mostly on animals. We need more human studies, double-blind, placebo-controlled, randomized control studies on humans. But these animal studies at least suggest that BPC might help many muscle injuries heal in humans. It might boost healing, improve pain, improve function, improve athletic performance of injuries like hamstring tears, quadriceps injuries, calf injuries, and many more. BPC is one of the few peptides that works as well as an oral pill as it does as an injection under the skin. In fact, a rat study look at it, looking at MCL healing, it worked as well as a topical cream and orally. If you take BPC, generally you do it once a day for three months with a one month break, but some people say you can take it continuously. And it's again, thought to be very safe. There's really no reported side effects like most peptides and no lethal dose has been found. And again, works just as well orally as it does as an injection under the skin. It's one of the rare peptides in that, in that realm. Now, again, this is not medical advice. I'm just saying all this for general information and educational purposes only. And I've pointed this out before about BPC. As of January 1st, 2022, BPC is banned by the World Anti-Doping Agency. It might not matter if you're a recreational athlete, weekend warrior, or just physically active. But if you do compete in a sport with drug testing, you could test positive and be sanctioned if they do screen for BPC. Therapeutically, BPC-157 is not currently approved by the FDA for use as a human drug. It is legal for use in the US, again, that may be different in other countries, but it's only available by a prescription. You have to have a prescription from a doctor for BPC-157, and you usually get it filled at that doctor's office. Now, if you buy them online, unless it's a physician that performs telemedicine visits, the peptides, peptides from most of these online sites often contain little or no peptides, potentially though a lot of harmful fillers. If you'd like to read the studies I talked about in this video, I've provided links in the description below. If you like videos like this one with information about optimal health and wellness, healing and recovery from orthopedic injuries so you can feel and perform your best regardless of age, injury, or medical history, subscribe to this channel and click the bell to be notified of new videos and live streams when I'm online. And if you have a muscle injury and you want to see somebody who truly knows about bone and joint injuries and athletes and active people, I would be happy to help. I'm a double board certified orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist. I'd love to meet with you and talk about all your options to recover from injury, not just surgery, cortisone shots, and physical therapy, the traditional treatments offered. Go to my website, drdavidgeyer.com. Go to the contact page to make an appointment to see me. The link to my website and the contact information is in the description below this video. I'm Dr. David Geyer. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to helping you feel and perform better than ever.